we are entering a realm where signs, signs are so important. Manifestations, workings, wonders, all of that's going to start happening in ways that we could not imagine, and we're going to have to be quickened to see it. There's something else that goes on, because one of the things I do about four times each year is read the whole book of Revelation. You don't have to understand it. Just, if you read it, you're going to get blessed. You need to say, I'm just going to read it. I'm going to read it out loud. I'm just going to be blessed. You don't have to try to figure out when the Lord is coming back or everything going on. But if you read it, a spirit of revelation begins to move in you. And remember when Yeshua in Matthew 16, now this is after the situation that I talked to you about John the Baptist, Finally, he's walked with these disciples for three years. He gets them to one of the darkest places in history, in, in the world, at, at where the God of Pan is worshipped in Caesarea Philippi. And all of a sudden, he asks them a question, who do you say that I am? Well, first he said, what's everybody saying about me? And then he said, okay, if they're all saying that I'm one of the prophets come back, who do you say that I am? And in that dark place, Peter taps all the way in to heaven. And he said, you're the Mashiach. You're the one we've been looking for. And so he turns and he prophesies to Peter. And he said, upon this rock, I will build my church and I'll give you the keys to unlock the kingdom. Now, those are two different things. This year, we're getting keys for the rest of the season. And in doing that, we have to understand that's what is being put together in the building blocks right now around us is being evaluated. And, and he said, the church will withstand the gates of hell. The gates of hell will not be able to overtake it. Well, that word they weren't even that familiar with. It was a word, ecclesia, linked with government and Rome. But then something happens. Now, think about it. John was there when Peter was tapping in. You know, John usually tapped in. Peter usually was a mess. And so, I'm going to tell you that because the person you're sitting next to might be a mess most of the time, but they can still tap in. And, and he... <clears throat> And he was a mess within 15 minutes after he got this revelation, remember? The Lord said, now that you've got a revelation of who I am, I can go on to Jerusalem, I can do what I'm supposed to do. And Peter said, I, 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 we can't let you do that. Now, how would you like to tell the Lord what he could do and what he can't do? And the Lord turns around and looks at him and says, get thee behind me, Satan. Now, how would you like for the Lord to call you Satan also? I'm telling you. I mean, that was within 15 minutes of having the greatest revelation ever. But when you're reading the book of Revelation, you see 70 years later. And you see something that happens about every 70 years. And that's really what's going on right now in our history, in nation's history. Israel's 75 years. See, 
after 70 years, the Lord said, let me go check that whole region out and look at the key seven ecclesias in the region. And let's let the angels that are linked with that speak. And he went to every one of those churches. I've been, Marty and I, we've been to every one of them, where they were. And he looked at each one of them, and he said, I want to commend you what you've done the last 70 years. That's the first thing, and that's how God always operates. And then he said, I want to correct, and a couple of them he didn't even have to correct. I want to correct what needs to be corrected. And then to all of them he said, now, starting now, you're going to have to change. And then he said, and the only way you're going to overcome is for the Spirit to come. And those who hear what the Spirit is saying, they'll overcome. Now, why am I saying that? Because this is what the Lord spoke to me this week. He said, I am activating the law of the house. My house will be filled with glory. And Every 70 years, I'm going to evaluate the house. I'm going to look at it. I'm going to see where it's come from. I'm going to see how well it's done things. And then I'm going to give the house instructions. Now let me read you the law of the house. Now why am I saying this? Because this year in this kingdom war, we are warring for the next house that will be built. 